Hi right, everyone, I just want to make a quick video about the stock market lately and some of the misinformation that I think is out there. Uh, none of this is obviously financial advice, it's just my opinion for entertainment purposes only, but if you take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average the last few weeks, especially the last few days, it's kind of been rallying, right? People are already calling for the bottom of the recession or the supposed recession on March 23rd when the Dow was around 18.6. I just don't think that's the case. Um, if you look at some of this historical data, especially the job, jobless numbers or the jobless claims that came out, here's a GIF uh, from dating back to even before 1970. And you can see some, some of the worst times in our country's history, jobless claims were around six, 700, right? This gigantic spike is the jobless claims in the past two weeks alone, and it's over six million. So I don't understand how people can be claiming that we've already hit the bottom and now we're on our way up when there are still many, many, many people that are quarantined, can't work, can't get paid. There are many businesses that have gone under. So if you work for a mom and pop shop and you've been quarantined for the past few weeks, and let's say they lift the quarantine now because everyone's getting better and there's nothing to worry about, well, what happens if your mom and pop shop went bankrupt? You have no job to go back to, right? And that's gonna be a, a good number of people. So I don't think you can say that the economy is already on its way up and it was a V-shaped recovery and everything is gonna be good to go and we're gonna hit all time highs again. I just don't think that's the case um, because all those people, six million people that have lost their jobs, and that's probably an underestimate, right? That's probably gonna be more than that because not everyone has reported yet. Uh, and many more people may continue to lose their jobs because like I said, a lot of these businesses can't stay afloat, right? They're relying on bailouts from the government or stimulus packages. And the other thing is this $1,200 stimulus check, I don't know if that's gonna tide people over for the next month or two or however long they're quarantined or are unemployed. So I think, I think the health issue that's going around the world, that was the catalyst for a drop in the stock market. But I still think that the backbone or the fundamentals of the market are, are still flawed. So people are saying this is a, actually a, a bull trap, meaning they're trying to squeeze out some of the short sellers and kind of get rid of the dumb money. But I think a lot of the people that are smart they're still holding their cash on the sidelines because they know, and, and I think this is true as well, that this stock market is gonna plummet even more. I think it's gonna go even lower than this 18.6 number. People usually reference the SPY, the S&P 500 ETF, uh, when they refer to the market. And you know, on March 23rd, SPY hit around 223, which is what the so-called bottom was. And as of today, just closed around 265. I just don't think that this is the start of recovery. There's a lot of people on the internet that are using a lot of technical analysis, like Fibonacci retracements and Elliott wave theory. And they're predicting that the actual market bottom in the coming weeks and months is gonna be a spy of 200 or less. Some are calling for a spy of 190 or 180. And that seems more in line with really common sense with what we're seeing in the world and not just what we're hearing in the media, right? Because you can't tell me that once the quarantine is over, all 6 million people are gonna go back to work and they're all gonna spend their money. Um, I don't know about you, but once the quarantine is over, are you really gonna hop on the next flight or the next cruise? Or are you gonna kind of wait it out and see what happens to make sure this health scare is truly over? So a lot of these businesses are not gonna pop back up overnight. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a long, long uh, challenge for them to get their customer base back. But you know, if you don't wanna wait or if you don't wanna risk it, now still is a good time if you've never been in the stock market before to get in. Because let's say you have never invested in the stock market before and you decided today was the day. Well, at a SPY of 265, for example, we haven't hit that level since 
January 25th or so of 2019. So if you were to have bought in about a year ago, you would have rode that wave all the way up, rode it down and then, and then started right, or ended up right where you started again. So you really didn't lose any time in that past year if you were to get in today. So it is a great time to get in if you don't want to chance it and you, and you really do think that this is the start of recovery. But like I said, I'm going to hold out. I'm going to stay on the sidelines with my cash because I think we can go even lower and I think it will go even lower. I mean, if people are right and let's say we hit a SPY of 200, we haven't seen that level since June of 2016. If we go all the way down to 180, I mean, now we're talking February 2016. So if that's the case, let's say you've never invested in the stock market before and you really believe that SPY is going to go down to 200 or maybe even 180. Well, that's okay because for the past three to four years, you haven't missed out on much. So that's just my two cents. Um, I'll continue to make videos like this about the stock market and in general other ways to make money and become financially independent. So I'm curious to hear what you think. Uh, please subscribe, turn on the notifications, um, leave me comments. All comments, good and bad, are welcome. I'll, I'll try to get better. So thanks for your time.